You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a fan favorite, Paul Engel, <laughs> library director. Hey, Paul, how are you? Good, Mark. How are Good you? Good to see you. Lots happening at the library. It's, it's summer. It's summer. Yep. <laughs> and with that comes summer reading. That's right. So tell us about that. Well, this year's summer reading program is called Libraries Rock. So it's a, a rock and roll theme this year. We're, um, as, as typically, we're, we're doing um, uh, um, sign-ups at, at all three branches. Mm -hmm. So and, and this was already started, so it's running right now. Anybody can sign, all the kids can sign up. We have raffles, and we're, uh, this year, as a, as a, um, a new catch, we're, we're, we're going to have prizes. We're going to have bikes and helmets for grades one through six. So oh. some lucky kid is going to win a bike um, and for each grade. And the uh, Grand Lodge Knights of Pythias are sponsoring grades one through, through three. Mm -hmm. And then the Brockton Library is partnering up with the St. George Lodge, and we're sponsoring four, five, and six. Which happens to be my lodge. Yeah. And Gary King's Lodge. Really? So no coincidence there. <laughs> um, they're a very charitable lodge. All the lodges are, yeah. to be honest with you. And it's nice that you have different organizations. You have, you have Masons and mm -hmm. you have Knights of Pythias. So that's, those are good community groups that really like to help people. That, that is very cool. It should be called Libraries Rock. We have a musician That's right. that runs a library, <laughs> so that makes total sense to me. Anyway, um, we also have, um, you guys are involved in a lot of initiatives. Um, we're finishing up, uh, you've had a number of soccer That's right. viewings, the World Cup events, and you yep. have two left? I think there's two left, yeah, the third and the seventh. So next Tuesday and next Saturday. They're, Tuesdays is running from 10 to 4. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, Tuesdays is running noon to four, yeah. and Saturdays is running 10 to four. And they're happening in the Lingos Auditorium. We had a very nice write-up in the Enterprise. Yeah. It was, um, and it's been a good event so far. Good PR. Um, you're doing Wednesday afternoon at the movies in the children's room. Wednesday afternoon at the movies, yeah. Talk about that. Well, um, that's, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're, we're having children's movies in the, um, in, the, in the Lingos Auditorium Wednesday afternoon starting July 11th, and they're running through August 8th. Okay, any, any, you want to tell us any about any of the movies? Um, you know, I don't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My kids are older now. Um, Paddington 2, <laughs> uh, Sing, The Dog Who Saved Summer, Parent Trap, and Rock Dog. There you go. Rock Dog goes with the rock <laughs> theme. Okay, I like that. Um, and then the city, and we're going to have him on as a guest as well, the manager who runs it, the mm -hmm. Farmer's Market, the library is getting involved in that. That's right. Rob May approached me, and uh, with the help of the children's room, with, with uh, Sue McCormick and Tammy, we got together a program of um, events, children's events that are happening every Friday starting from July 13th uh, at 11 a.m. At the, at the farmer's market. And there are various things. We have storytellers. We have magicians. Uh, we have Mr. B Vinny, the bubble guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, music together. And they're all people who are old friends of the Brockton Library. They've, they've, they've come in. Magic, I see. Uh, that's right, magic. Chris uh, Lovatier, who has a, a, a magic studio downtown Brockton. That's right, right that's on right. On Main Street, not too far from You know, I haven't met him yet. I have, to, okay. I have to circle around and meet him. He's a very interesting guy. <laughs> you're going you're, you're to get an earful. Uh, yeah. You're going to get an earful. He, he, he loves what he does, and he, it's, it's like a little auditorium over there. Nice. And he's doing events over over there as well. Right. Um, and uh, I saw, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. That's great. Eight weeks of, eight weeks of summer. Eight weeks Summer's going to be gone before you know it. I know. <laughs> and we're going to get a taste of the weather coming up this week. Um, also, I know the Frederick Douglass moving exhibit has been all around the city and mm -hmm. it's coming to the library with the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association. That's right. right. Lynn Smith is bringing that in. And uh, that's the 24th in the evening. Is it Tuesday evening, I believe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but that's the kickoff for it. I believe the exhibit's being put in as we speak. Uh, one note I'll say is a, a very dear friend of mine from my days at Berkeley, uh, Gabrielle Goodman, will be coming down, and she will be singing three Negro spirituals for us. And that's, nice. that's going to be a treat. Um, so I was asked to record it. Hopefully we'll get her permission to allow us to do I'm that. I'm sure you will. Um, because there's all sorts of events. They're doing their July 1st reading of Franklin That's Douglas right. in the park. Yep. All languages are covered. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we, we, we want to, again, full disclosure, Chairman of the Library <laughs> Board, we want to thank the City Council and the Mayor Absolutely. for funding our library budget fully. Yep. We're all the positions that we need to have to run an effective library. And the best news of all is in the fall, right. we have expanded hours. That's right. So um, 
We're going to double the hours of the branches. Yep. Okay. We're, we're going to bring you back later in August so we can, we'll put it up on the screen and tell everybody what's going on. And then the main library is going to open... Roughly 12% more hours. Um, we're going to be open until nine Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesday nights. So we're adding Wednesday nights. That's the exciting stuff. That's the stuff. big thing, So yep. the main library is going to be one more night, so there'll be more opportunities for meetings. That's right. And events and things that happen. The nine o'clock is better because people, it's tough to get out of work, mm -hmm. do your meeting, do your event, and then get out the door at 745. Right. This okay. is really going to help our meetings and our programming. So um, there's been a, a push and an initiative from the Board of Trust trustees from the library foundation from the staff and in partnership with the mayor yes. obviously and the city council yes. and the state legislative delegation that's also supported libraries absolutely too. Um, we're working on you know our naming opportunity mm -hmm. with tommy kennedy's because it's three years since he passed i just saw a facebook that jerry oh. cassidy posted so you know, we know that we changed the name of the library we're going to get the signage to do it when we can figure out how to pay that bill <laughs> okay because that's not a city funded type of a thing. We no. don't have that kind of money for that. No. But hopefully we'll have a sign with a marquee on it. And That's we can right. Let people know of all the events and everything with his name on it. And a nice picture of Tommy in the in the lobby someplace so people know yeah. who he was. He loved the library and he couldn't go there until we became handicapped. That's right. That's right. So he fought for the library. Nice. So uh, what do I have left at the time? I have three minutes left. Wow. Okay, so Paul, we, 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 we burned through this. We burned through all this stuff. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have? Anything generic about the library? I mean, I know we've hired, you know, there's been new staff and, mm -hmm. and you will be hiring more. Yeah. Um, we have a, a, a position that we're hiring for right now. We have a, um, a, a full-time library assistant for circulation. Okay. And with the um, with the approval of, of the council and the mayor, we, we uh, the budget that passed is going to allow us to hire another reference librarian, mm -hmm. another children's librarian, which is going to be which key. we've been talking about forever. Yeah, and that's going to I mean that's just going to increase our programming. We're going to be able to program the branches more. Right. Uh, just it's that's uh, that's maybe the one I'm most excited about. Um, and then we have uh, a number of support positions that we're going to be adding to as well. Uh, in, in, in as far as uh, I think we're going to be adding a, a, um, a, an assistant at the branches and a page at the branches. Which means the branches are coming back. Yes, Which they're coming back. It's a long time to do it, but because we have the support and the, mm -hmm. the you know, cooperation from the city and, and the resources. Yes. I mean, times are tough, budgets are tight, but who doesn't like the library? Especially because we get one of the smallest portions of the budget. There really yep. wasn't any room to cut. Could have, yeah, I know. But we're I very know. appreciative, and, and we know that we have people that value the library. I, I think it's in the entire city council mm -hmm. and the mayor. I, we know Ann Beauregard's very involved over with the with the foundation and the bookstore. Yep. So she is on the council, so she helps us and all of that. So uh, website, phone number, and then we can say goodbye. Okay, uh, www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org. The number is 508-580-7890. And all the stuff we talked about you can find on the web because yes. we have event people. On yes. There. Okay. Yeah. Paul, thanks for coming in. Thank Always you, a Mark. Pleasure. Yeah, likewise. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champion.